Hola mis amigos, Frogman J14 here. Welcome back. This is episode 5 of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. In the last episode, we took on the first half of World 3. In this episode, we're going to tackle the second half. But for now, I had to leave off at uh, pretty much halfway through Rattle Battle. And in this episode, I'm going to finish it. So, we remember these dudes. I think they're called Kaboinks or something like that. I don't remember, but... So we're going to finish this level, and then we're going to tackle the second half of World 3. I already got that bonus level up there, so... Moving on. Oh, we almost got killed by that cannon. Ball. Cannonball. And that dude always gets me too. So... What are you going to do? Now this is the part where I died last time. That's the dude who, like leaves and then he'll come back. There's gonna be one more, but forget. Forget. Just just you can live. Tell your friends. And you're dead. Now that's the guy who killed me. On a separate occasion. And this is the farthest I've gotten so far. So we're gonna kill this dude. And we're at the end of the level. Thank God. Now, if you had Dixie Kong, you can get a bonus, but since I can't, this is what happens when you don't get a prize. Alright, because I didn't use Dixie to do that. Although I heard Dixie at the very end, I, I guess I should have looked for her, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, it's just for, just for a little bonus prize. Okay, so Rattle Battle's done. This one's done, this one's done, this one's done. So, so far, so good. Slime Climb! This level is interesting. Okay, so you got a pink lockjaw down there. If you fall in the water, he will pretty much just go straight at you, and you will die instantly. Um, well, I guess most bad guys will kill you instantly if you just touch them, but it's a gruesome way to die, nonetheless. I'm going to jump down attack him there, and just, you can live. I'll let you live, click clack. Live, 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 die. Alright, you die. And we got clomps, I think they're called. Basic henchmen. And we have a barrel up here if you want some goodies. Is it necessary? No. But, why not? Um, I think that there's some more goodies over here. Yeah. Yes, there are. Now, first bonus level. You have to kill this dude take a hit because I pretty much had no choice you grab the invincibility barrel and you swim as fast as you can down here bonus level number one and we're gonna collect the stars and it's probably best that I am playing as Dixie anyway because she could pretty much collect most of them not all on the first There you go, easy as that. One time, I, 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 in my practice run, I actually fell under the pillar that you stand on at the very beginning. Oh, yeah. And I died. But I was actually standing on that pillar in the bonus round, and I, I fell right below it. Like, right directly below it. And... And there was like a barrel that shot me back into the bonus level, so I thought I died, but I was still alive. Whoa, 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 whoa! See that? That was close. Anyway. There's nothing over there, so... Whoa. Nerve-wrecking! 
I think there's something over there, but I'm just gonna say, nah. And then you just dodge these dudes, climb this thing, kill this dude. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Run, run, Didi. Run! Okay. And the water's still rising, so you gotta get moving. There you go, second bonus level. Whew! Sometimes you need to just take a deep breath. <sighs> Destroy them all! Okay. So. Oh, wait, there's Dixie. <laughs> And there you go. 34! I wish I had the count with me. So you can be like... Six! Six bats! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, I missed the DK coin! Oh, God! Alright, I'll see you guys in a minute. That's what the invincibility barrel was for. I forgot. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I climbed all the way back there just to get to this invincibility barrel. You just gotta drop down here, and there you go. That's how you do it. Just wanted to show you. I was gonna put it at the end of the video, but I was like, ah, nah, I just wanna do it now. And that's what I did. So, okay. So, we are finished with Slime Climb. We could visit Swanky, but nah. Alright. In about the next ten minutes or so, I'm going to try to com finish the last level of World 3 and fight the boss. I'm going to do that all in this video. Whoa, what was I at? I was at 38% done. 1 hour 18. Not too bad. Not my personal best, I don't think, but we will see. Now, won't we? Bramble Blast. I love the music in this level, and in any of the Thorn levels, because they all have the same music. The song, I believe, is called Sticker Brush Symphony um, by David Wise. David? I think it's David Wise. I will correct myself in a future video because, if I'm wrong, because trust me, I'm going to make more references to this song. This song is so awesome. It's so passionate, I guess you could say. But also, what's so great about this song is that it suits the, the tone, the mood so well. Like, this is a very stressful level. In fact, all the Thorn levels are pretty stressful. But the music keeps you wanting to play. Kind of calms your nerves, you know. If that makes any sense. I like when the drums start playing. In fact, you know what? This part is kind of boring, so I'm pretty much just going to let you listen to some music. Don't try not to think of it as me being lazy. If Just try to think of it more like I'm, I'm giving you a gift of music, because this song really is a gift. So, bonus level number one. See, that music is just amazing. Now, this music, on the other hand, is a little, a little more nerve-wracking, but it's funny. Okay. So, I think you want to go this way. Nope, yeah, you want to go this way. This way, and up here, and up there, and 
down there, and down there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and Alright, 35. Sweet! Alright, back to the barrel blasting. This gets kind of tedious after a while, especially if like you die and then you have to do it all over again. It's not hard, it's just boring. But at least you got some awesome music to listen to in the process. So, not too bad. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now this is where you gotta time it. And halfway mark. Sweet! And I died. Not sweet! There we go. But well, we got DD back, so that's all that matters. And there was no way I was gonna go back for it anyway, so it's not like I wasted a DK barrel. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh. <laughs> I have no idea how I didn't die there, but I'm not complaining. Alright, you just gotta wait for the B. Go. Oh, I thought there was more to it. I'm gonna switch back to Didi. Or Diddy. Okay, actually, you know what? I remember this part. It's better just to fly. Because if you don't, then you'll have to do a series of barrels just to get back on track. So just to save some time. Save dying. Save save myself from the possibility of dying. I'm just gonna fly. Okay then, so take these bananas up and there we go. Now we're almost at an interesting part of the level where I need to it's where the DK coin is, it's also where another bonus level is. But I'm trying to remember where I'm going. I think I go down. Yeah. And there. And there. There and then there. Maybe I go here. Yes. Okay. This is where I'm supposed to go. So the DK coin is going to be up ahead. And how people figure this out on their own, I do not know. Probably by accident. But this is what you got to do. You got to stay on track. You don't want to die. But you got to time this jump. And then you jump off this flick flitter dude and you fall down there. It looks like you're gonna die, but no. And I got Diddy Kong. And you just stay on track, really. Um, be careful with the B. The red ones you cannot kill. At least not with Squawks' eggs. See, I always thought they were nuts, but apparently they're eggs. Go figure. Okay, find the token. Simple enough, you just stay on track. See, look, this is so horrible. Like, look what Squawks has to do. He has to do all the Bramble levels. I mean, he's like risking his life, you know, from getting like punctured lungs and everything. I mean, like this poor bird. This is why he's the badass of the game, because he has to do all the bramble levels and all like the really dangerous situations, and all the tight spaces and everything, and it's just gonna get worse. Uh, there is one level in this game we haven't hit it yet, but there we go, bramble blast 100%. We haven't hit the level, but it's in the Lost World. It's the very last level of the game, and to say it. I mean, just saying that it is a ridiculous level, or at least for Squawks, is an understatement. But, we're not there yet, so I'm not gonna... Huh. So I'm not gonna go there right now. But anyway, this is... Clubba? I forgot his name. I thought Clubba was the green one. I forgot what this dude's name. Crusha, I think. It's one or the other. One or the other. But, yeah, as you can see, just... 
every time he hits the ground, he can paralyze you. So you want to make sure that you're jumping. You wait for him to throw a TNT barrel at, at you, and then... Oh, I already hit him three times, so that means he's going to start jumping at you. Again. So I think that's the fourth hit. I have to hit him two more times. So you gotta pretty much jump every single time he hits the ground to avoid being paralyzed. And I think I got one more hit, so... This last hit's usually pretty difficult. In my practice run, it was a lot more difficult. <laughs> Well, first try, not bad. 37 creme coins. A little sloppy, but... You know, keeping two Kongs in the, in the battle. I, I, I don't know, I think it was okay. It was a good, it was a good fight. Creme Quay, complete. Alright, well, I think I'm going to cut this episode. So, in the next episode, we will take on Kremland. I believe that was the name of the fourth world. And we're going to do Hornet Hole. Not one of my favorite levels, but it's an interesting level nonetheless. So... Sorry, I was looking at my time, and I'm thinking maybe... I could... Maybe I could do one more level. I better decide quick, though. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do one more level. Let's do Hornet Hole. Why not? I could always, like, edit if I need more time or something. But I think I can pull it off. I think I can pull it off. So first, you want to go up here. Whoa, you don't want to fall down. I'm going to try to, like, speed, speed run this level. <laughs> or not really speed run, but I'm just going to go through it quickly. All right, find the token. Kill the bees. Rampage! So you pretty much have to kill them all if you want to find the token. Good. There you go, 38. Yeah, I'm going to rush this because I, I have about five minutes. And I can I can do one more level. Plus, Wrinkly's on the af Wrinkly Kong is right after this level, so it would make sense for me to stop at that save point. So I'm just going to attempt it. This level's not particularly hard, but it's... it is it is challenging. Um, and as you can see, we're in a giant beehive. Uh, in the first Donkey Kong Country, you didn't have any level like this. You did have to fight bees, but nothing like this. Um, so, yeah, we're looking at yet another kind of stage to show you the wide variety of levels that Donkey Kong Country 2 has to offer. And we're going to take this hook and guess who we're going to find. Squitter! Squitter kicks ass. <laughs> Squitter doesn't mess around. And we can get another Kong if we needed one. We got two letters. I wonder if we can get Kong in this level. Maybe not, but why not? Let's try it. Okay. Whoop. Get some goodies. Kill everything in sight. We even killed the, the crook. That's what they're called. The crooks. The guy with the hooks. Yeah, they're called crooks. Okay, so we're gonna take this path. And I think, yes, right here. So we kill this bee. Well, I kind of blocked off my path. We'll wait till the web runs out. Alrighty. 
And then we kill these bees. Climb. And we get our DK coin. DK coin number 17. Almost halfway done with all the DK coins. Okay. I think I killed another Kremlin over there, but I wasn't sure what he was. Um, there's going to be a bonus level up ahead. I hope I don't miss it. Die. There we go. Just in time. Just in the nick of time. Okay, I think it's up here. We got bananas to tell you that it is. To confirm it. So. Find the token. This one's simple enough. You just shoot webs. And you climb. And that's it. That's all there is to it. 39 creme coins. We now officially have a majority of the creme coins, more than half. And we're going to hit him in the face and keep climbing. We're going to climb up here for more goodies. Just bananas. But why not? Okay, I'm on, I'm pressed for time, so I better finish the level quick. I'm down to about one more minute or so. And end of the level. Sweet! Pulled it off. And we got all Kong letters. Would you look at that? Alright, so since I am just about out of time, I'm going to go to Wrinkly Kong College and save the game. And I get to save for free the first time. Whoopee! So there we are. We are one hour and 31 minutes into the LP. 43% completion. Pretty sweet. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. This was episode 5, I believe. Um, next time on Donkey Kong Country 2, we will continue World 4. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.